What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play today. I've got some more Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness playing as Spain last episode. We were working on colonizing Africa, and as you can see, we've got another project going right here. Um, this finishes up in April of 1879, so in like four days, we're going to be able to grab this piece of territory. You can see the French sneaking up under me there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually try to move into this spot. Uh, the Libyan desert as soon as this finishes up and then uh, hopefully at some point we'll fill in the rest of the gap here uh, that will also give us access to try and take over Egypt maybe take a little look at that uh, we've got a, a, situ a little bit of a situation on our hands because we did not go to war with our allies the Germans who are fighting against the Russians and the British uh, France stayed out of this as as well as Austria-Hungary and then Italy sort of jumped in after I broke my alliance and grabbed one with the Germans there and so Right now I don't have a great power ally, which is a little scary, but We'll have to see what we can do uh, USA still having tons of problems Empire. They are at war with Empire of Mexico. I wonder if they're trying to take some of uh... Oh, they have two Casas bellies Acquire New Mexico, acquire Nevada and Utah, so they are trying to make moves uh, to get back into the game. They're currently ranked below me at 336. They're probably going to overtake me, to be honest. Uh, the Italians have put a decent lead on us as well, just because their industry is so ridiculously high. Uh, speaking of industry, let's check out my industry. We do have six new projects that are out there that we could potentially do. Um... One of them is to build the small arms factory, so we'll go ahead and invest there. Let's go ahead and pause it, the game as well. Uh, once we hit April 3rd... Oh, okay, we get a Cassus Belly on Greece, so I don't really care. Um, well, I'll replace Cassus Belly Dents against Portugal, okay. Boom. Pause it again really quickly, because let's make sure we don't lose this land. Excellent. Uh, go ahead and sign up for protectorate status, I guess. There we go. Now, that only leaves us with 83 colonial power. It takes us 80 to... Uh, it looks like I'm going to have to make a choice between one or the other. We are working on expanding naval bases, though, across the... Oh, I can expand a lot more, actually, it looks like. Yeah. So, having said that, um, 1879, October. Okay, we do have more naval bases on the way, so I will be getting more colonial power, so that makes, that makes me feel safe about investing up here. Because we've basically got this area blocked off and we'll be able to um, colonize that. I'm pretty sure we will be able to once the new naval bases are finished. So that's going to finish up, let's see, in 1880 in January. So uh, we've got to wait about a year for that to, to work out. Excellent, we found gold. Back to what I was doing before, though. Um, I've got a new project there for one factory. I'll let the investors sort of chip away at the railroads. How many... I do have 1,600 capitalists in Spain. The number continues to grow. About two at a time. We have decent troops back home here. Uh, let's see, we can actually build out some more units. Um, get three good dragoons out there. Uh, and our infamy is almost all the way down too. Which is good. Let's see. I wonder if there's any potential targets for us. Hmm. I was gonna say now would be a good time to attack. Uh, the Dutch Java Islands there, but that's not going to work because they're allied with the Germans. I don't want to go against the Germans. I want to try to get that alliance back if I can. Just looking around really quickly. 
Okay. Let's go ahead and unpause it again. We are working on the high pre high and low pressure steam engine. There under the industry tab. Projects, no new projects for factories up quite yet. We did just lose a general. He'll be replaced pretty easily though. Okay. Time to set a new research actually, so... Hmm. Let's go for machine guns actually. I think it was a good one to be next. Update the military. King, our ambassadors have been banned from Algeria. Interesting. By France. Who'd have thunk? The usual suspects, right? Let's get a couple of regular infantries going as well. French Africa still expanding over there and uh, we should be coming up on the ability to create a protectorate here shortly yeah January so we're in December right now I can hear my new uh, troops being built uh, December 31st upper house rearranged no big changes there Boom, create protectorate, done. All right. Lose five prestige or kill our relations with Algeria. Yeah. Algeria is not cool right now. All right, so that leaves us with a couple of options. We can continue to drive south, which I think is what we should do, and break up this French uh, territory. They're actually, oh, they've gone to war with Egypt. That's not good. The Ottomans are in there as well. They're all trying to get a piece of that while they can. So while they're distracted on that, I'm going to continue heading south here to this area. Yeah, Mongo. Mongo Congo. All right, let's go ahead and unpause it. Oh, we do need to create the protectorate there. Forgot about that. Oh, look at that. The Ottomans and the French have both eaten up humongous chunks of Egypt, so we're not going to be able to get in there, which is pretty dumb. But we don't have any competition yet headed south here. So that's good. Okay, a nice stack, a nice 42 stack there, well balanced. We'll go ahead and move him up. Yeah, we've got to find somebody to attack here. Um... Morocco and Algeria still all mixed up. Population growth would be good. Absolutely. Lots of great bonuses. Life rating bonus that's uh, going to affect how your immigrants come into the country. Oh, we are interested in the crisis. Let's see what's going on. West Macedonia. So it's the classic. Let's pause it. Mm-mm. <clears throat> The Germans are not included here. USA looks like they're going to take back um, Mexican Texas as well. Wow, that's this is getting intense. Um, we're still above the United States. Because of our military power, really. <clears throat> so with the Germans not um, involved in this... You've got Russia and Austria against France. We're going to go against France. Yeah, against France and against the Ottomans. That's the side I'm going to pick. Okay. Um, we've got French competition now. Go ahead and unpause it. 
Uh, the next work, the next uh, date we're looking for is August 18th, 1880. That's when we're going to be able to upgrade again. So I should be able to win in this race. Well, maybe not. I'm only down to 23 colonial power. I can only really go one further step up. So we might have to pull out of that altogether. Uh, maybe I'll have some naval bases finishing up. Is that the case? That one can still expand. That one can. Um, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, it looks like everybody's been upgraded that can upgrade. I mean, we can still work on it. Expand one there, but uh, that's going to take a while to finish out, of course. Maybe we should take over Haiti. I uh, forgot to point out, too, last episode we conquered the rest of this little piece of... Um, Brunei here, now called Spanish Asia. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Back to this colonial race down here. We'll unpause it again. Who is jumping in now? Hopefully we win this, because this will give us a nice prestige gain. I see no reason to monopolize it. Laz is fair, of course. Uh, canned food factory, we'll invest into that. We'll invest into the small arms factory as well. Want to get as many factories as I can. Shit. Pause. Yeah, but... Uh... Oh, Jingoism. Yes, we want Jingoism. I have nice uh, 103 colonial power left. So, okay, December 19th is what we're watching out for. December 19th. That, uh, no matter which way you slice it, that's probably as far south as we're going to be able to go. Really. I really think so. Machine guns are about to finish up. Quickly now, quickly. Army risk management, you're going to be next. That crisis is about to erupt. We're actually about to go to war here. Against the French and the Ottomans. Oh, jeez. We might as well... Uh, in order to prepare, I'm going to bump up our uh, supplies. Also going to bump the taxes up significantly to try to cover this. Yeah, and it looks like we're still going to be able to stay positive, so... Get the troops all nice and supplied up to go up against France, which they're probably going to kick our asses again. Okay, we just invested again, so now we're up to a level 4 investment versus their 2. So now what I'm looking for is March 23rd, 1881. Oh my god, thank god. The Russian Empire accepted the Christ offer from France. Terms. Oh, okay. <clears throat> We did get a prestige bump for that, so that's good. Acquire Mast Wessedonia. Yes, you can see the uh, Greece has picked up that. And then also humiliate France, which, the, which they were able to do. Excellent. USA did jump just slightly ahead of us there. So, March 23rd, huh? It's about a month away. Oh, why did my factories close? Oh, because we just changed government. Damn it, I'm going to have to change us back. That's why we're losing all of our money right now. Uh, Union Liberal is the one we already always go with. There we go. This allows me to bump that tax income back up. There we go. 
Oh shit, pause. Okay. Oh my god, we have to keep investing? Jeez. July 8th is the next uh, date that we have to watch out for. And the good news is, too, I'm starting to collect... I'm starting to collect uh, troops here in Africa. I have a 12 stack so far. We can increase opinion over here in Portugal, so let's do that really quickly. At comp in competition with the British there. And they're starting to catch up. July 8th. <clears throat> so it's June right now. Open back up some of these. Yeah. Open up some of these factories. Looks like everyone's open for business now. Um, two. Next is going to be October 8th. So let's get to subsidizing all of these factories as well. Open the factories. Perfect. Okay. Building two new factories as well. Uh, okay. We are starting to get some demand for some factories. Artillery factories, the whole nine yards. I'm investing in all of them that I can. Okay. It's about to be time to invest again. Oh shit, I don't have enough colonial power. We're down to 33 colonial power. So we're probably actually going to lose this. Because France, of course, rocks everybody's house. And... Uh, that sucks. <clears throat> Gain one infamy. Or lose five prestige. I'll take the infamy. Absolutely. Okay, he's now tied with me with a total of score of six each way. How's this 12 stack doing over here? Need to combine you guys. Build army. Okay, Europe and Asia. Filipino infantry. And I'll get some more infantry in mainland Europe there. Very nice. Barely losing money at this point. Canned food factory, that sounds good to me. No research has been set yet. Military logistics, you'll go you're gonna be the next. Yeah, we're losing the race. Yeah, no shit. <clears throat> we might as well withdraw, to be honest. But I might as well screw over the French, too, and make them wait. <laughs> we'll see if Germany will take us back as allies. They will not. What about the Italians? They will not accept that, either. Okay, we did jump back ahead of the USA, which is cool. Canned food factory. Come on. There we go. And we've got a little ways to go before we max out uh, our industrial space. So I'm going to continue to subsidize projects where I can. Subsidize the factories. Oh, we have a new crisis, so we will join in. Looks like the typical Romanian crisis. Yeah. Formation. Uh, or is that Transylvania, actually? 
Yes, it's Transylvania. Uh -uh. I think it's smart to just go ahead with the German side right off the bat. Which will maybe sway others to come over with me. It might push France away, actually. But we'll see. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Even if uh, 